What's up gamers, Joski here, giving you a tutorial video on how to fly the helicopters in Battlefield 4. I had some trouble with these early on and these are some tips and tricks that I found that really helped me out a lot. So let's jump into the test range. Uh, the first helicopter we're going to be taking a look at here is going to be the Scout helicopter once it loads up there. There we go. Now the one thing that I cannot stress enough to you guys is do not be afraid to go in and adjust the stick and button layouts to however you like. Uh, for myself, I like the legacy sticks and I prefer the default buttons, but don't be afraid to adjust it to whatever you feel comfortable with. You don't need to stick with the default. All right, now your heads up display, you're gonna see two lines and a dot, kind of looks like Pong. That's your level. So if you feel like your roll is getting out of control, refer to your level to level back out. Also, don't be afraid to jump back to the third person view Whenever you're looking around and you try to identify your objective, if you find that you're looking around and you're first person a lot, you'll get out of control and you'll get too fast and you'll be crashing. Now all the, v the uh, helicopters have a countermeasure, that's the chaff. Um, make sure that there's an impact alarm, it'll be a, a beeping sound, a high pitched beeping sound, and that means that something has been fired on you. So that's when you want to fire that off, don't do it too early. Now the floating crosshair. That, that floating crosshair, not the W, the floating crosshair. That's going to be where your shots are actually hitting with the scout helicopter. I found that the scout helicopter works better on infantry units, sucks against ground vehicles, and is decent when, air, when it comes to air to air, but still not so much. Best for the ground units. Get in there, level out, get low, spray them down with that minigun. Don't zip around, try not to get too fast and out of control or else you're just going to be spraying everywhere. Just uh, level out, spray them down, circle back around, rinse and repeat. Next up is the attack helicopter. The attack helicopter is extremely powerful. You'll find yourself lunging forward every now and then, and just be careful with that because you will run into shit. Now you pretty much have the same heads up display. You have that level there. Below that level is going to be your, uh, your box. That's where your gunner is targeting at for your targeting. You're going to refer to that uppercase I. That's your floating crosshair. And that's going to be what you're shooting. Whatever that I is on, that's what you're hitting. Now, the hydro rockets really don't work that well against infantry unless you get a direct hit. It works the best against ground vehicles. Anything sitting on the ground like that helicopter there. Uh, the secondary weapon are heat seeking missiles. But really, for, for ground vehicles, uh, the Hydro rockets are the most effective against that. You won't get a lock with anything other than a, a flying unit with the heat sinking missiles. So you can't use those against any kind of ground vehicle. Now having a decent gunner in your attack helicopter is going to make you extremely effective against infantry units. What you want to do is you want to keep your attack helicopter nice and leveled out so your gunner can get some shots in on these infantry units maneuver around, maneuver your attack helicopter, refer to that box underneath your level to where your gunner is looking. You want to maneuver around cover so you can flank infantry units and really let him take care of those infantry units. Let him put in some work, take care of those infantry units, keep an eye out for any uh, ground vehicles, for any enemy helicopters, and maneuver the helicopter to a safe spot. Let him take care of what he needs to while you keep a lookout. And when you're engaging hostile enemy air, you want to save your chaff for the last second. Make sure you have that beep 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 sound of a projectile being fired on you before you fire off your chaff or else those air to air missiles are really going to tear you apart. You kind of stay in their face and confuse them, but if you lose sight of them and you start to feel like you're getting confused, just get out of there and come back in a little bit. Stay in their face, keep them confused, you know, and it just really eats them up. They can't, they can't get a lock on you. That's all this week, gamers. We'll see you next time. Happy holidays to all my friends and family. I'd like to thank you for all your support and for all your help with sharing the videos and, and everything that comes with that. More videos are to come, and we'll see you next time. Good game.